It's been a long night for the young people behind me here. They've been out here all night. They're putting words into action. Now back there, there's a sign, you probably can't see it, but it says, Romeo says no to racism. That's in direct response to what was written on this rock prior to the current message you see here. And they're trying to prevent uh, that from becoming a hate-filled message again. What was written on that rock is not normal for this community. It's not right. Joe Eliakis says the Romeo area is not a place of hate, despite the racial slurs someone painted over what once read Black Lives Matter. That person wrote an expletive and the N-word. You can't just do that. It's not okay. You have to be respectful. For decades, they say people have written messages of all kinds on the Washington Township landmark. The recent Black Lives Matter message was in response to police brutality and for racial equality. So a group stood guard to make sure the message didn't revert back to hate. Some of these young kids out here, very commendable. They, they beat me out here and they had already painted what's on there now. So I just came here to support them, make sure that nobody's going to come up there and try to, you know, intimidate them or, or put anything else negative on the rock. The group says someone tried having the rock removed, but those who stood guard weren't having it. What happened earlier is a front end loader showed up and there's no reason for it. It was all intimidation and these kids, mostly kids here today, young people, they stood in front of that dozer and they weren't letting it move. Well, clearly uh, those kids putting their bodies on the line there. Uh, Darren, do we have any idea how long uh, those uh, kids, as he said, have been out there? About 12 hours. Some of them say they've been out here about 12 hours. And so I should mention that the Macomb County Sheriff's Office says they took an incident report, a police report. Uh, but because this happened in Washington Township, they say that it's actually the township who's handling the case. Kenan. All right. Darren Cunningham, live for us this morning in Washington Township. Thank you, Darren.